Okay, got the motor attached to the bell housing with the four main 5 8 bolts. Um, that's not fun. If you're wondering why no intake or anything is on top of it, it's because I wanted to be able to reach over it and do those bolts. So now I'm going to um, drop it down onto the the uh, motor mounts, hook the motor mounts up, and then I'll start uh, getting the um, oh, torque converter nuts on there. I literally cut my finger. I pinched it so hard I popped it. So, yay. Alright, let's do that. Sixteen, so you're gonna need a shallow socket to get them on here. And what you want to do is you want to get them on here, and then you got to spin the motor over. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get it to where it'll start turning the motor, and I'll pull that tight enough. And then what I've got is a 15/16 socket on the front of the motor, and I can grab it and spin it until the next one comes into view right here. Grab my next nut, throw it on there, and then I can tighten it up. And I do that four times, and then the motor and the transmission are officially mated. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this intake on today. So when you put these intake gaskets on, you don't slide them on top like that down. You gotta go over the head gasket in all four corners so that it grabs on like it's supposed to and everything should line up nice and pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the intake. We're gonna put a nice bead of silicone here, silicone back there, and then we're gonna plop this in lower intake on. And now I have some gaskets for this, but everything I'm reading says that they're junk. So it says to do a nice fat bead of silicone on this edge here. And then same thing on the back. Now, I've never done this before. I couldn't tell you if I'm doing it right. here they said all right and I think we're ready for the intake okay <laughs> that was not uh, fun getting that on there because I couldn't figure out which bolts went where I had pictures but I was trying to find them in two different bags and this is the intake off of a different truck so the bolts were different but anyway it's together thank God uh, and I did end up using those seals because i put it on the first time and there just was not there was there was too much room between the intake and the block so i put a i took it off again and then put the seal in there and then put more um rtv on top and i've got it just snugged down right now um i will tighten it down a little bit give that rtv some time to set up and then we'll tighten it down and then um so next thing i'm gonna do is probably the injectors throw the injectors on there and see if I can't get this fuel rail on here. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're moving right along. All right. Yeah. The injectors that I bought for this thing are actually out of a 98 Ford Explorer. Um, if you look real closely here, you can see that there's four holes. Where's that camera? Come on, focus. Anyway, there's four holes there instead of one. 
So that's what I'm using to hopefully get a little more power, better fuel economy. I did get all those fuel injectors in there. Um, I did take a little bit of oil and put it on uh, the O-ring before I slid it in there because I just wanted it to, uh, you know, be able to go in there without catching or binding or anything. And uh, they all went in real nice and easy. Now we're going to take this fuel ring and we're going to try and get it on top. All right. It's been a couple days, but um, I finished up a bunch on this motor. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but I got the valve covers on. I got the intake button down. I got the injectors in. Everything's plumbed, plugged in. I got the wiring harness ran. Uh, I got all the new sensors and things uh, for this. I've got the coolant temperature sensors, both of them, the oil pressure sensor, got the knock sensor in the back. I've got uh, things plugged. Um, we've got this one here, uh, which right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the old EGR tube. I've got that plugged. Um, we put that knock sensor in the back, back here. Uh, there it is right there. And uh, yeah, so did a lot of work on this thing. We got a long ways to go. I got the new new thermostat in, thermostat housing seal, good to go. Um, so now uh, we're gonna try and do the upper intake. We've got some new Hedman headers for this thing, which I'm really excited about. Um, we're gonna throw the headers on and then um, we're going to do the starter. So I'm hoping for starter uh, headers Dang it, my dog's trying to chase a wasp right near me. Look at this thing, that's terrifying. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get the uh, headers on, the starter on, and the upper intake today. So, here we go. So uh, we ended up getting the intake on, we got the starter on, but I've decided that I'm gonna do the headers uh, on their own little video because uh, I haven't even opened the box yet and I haven't been able to find any real good videos on installing headers on a Bronco 302. So we're gonna do that in a separate video. If you like what you saw today, subscribe. If uh, then you can watch them whenever you want. You know, you watch me do all this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave a comment if you think I'm stupid. That's great. I love hearing people, you know, criticize me. Perfect. So, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, and we'll catch you here next time.